Have you ever been to the grocery store and you're waiting in line trying to figure out how much everything's gonna cost? Today we're gonna learn how to round decimal numbers. For Ontario teachers, this is introduced in grade four, expectation B1.8. So let's remember why do we round? Rounding means making a number simpler, keeping the number close to its value. The result is less accurate, but it's easier to use. So here's a general overview of how to round numbers broken down into steps. We're gonna use the example of rounding 18.53 to the nearest whole number. So step one is to find the rounding digit and look to the digit on the right. So since we're rounding to the nearest whole, this in other words is asking to round to the ones place value. I like to circle this rounding digit and underline the digit to the right. Step two, everything to the left of the rounding digit stays the same, don't change it. So let's write down the one. Step three, we're gonna look at the five. There's a saying five or more, add one more, four or less, let it rest. So in this case, since it is five, we have to add one more to the rounding digit, eight becomes nine, and take away all the other digits to the right. So the answer is 19. Let's do another one. Let's say we're rounding 23.83 to the nearest 10th. So step one, let's find the rounding digit. We're gonna circle the eight, look to the right, let's underline the three. Step two, remember everything to the left of the digit, don't change it, write it down. We're gonna write down 23. Step three, four, let's look at the three that we underlined. So because this number is less than four, we keep the rounding digit. It stays as an eight and we don't need to write the numbers after it. My answer is 23.8. Let's do a tricky one. Let's round 49.75 to the nearest whole number. So step one, let's find the rounding digit. We're gonna circle the nine, look to the right, let's underline that seven. Step two, remember everything to the left of the rounding digit stays the same. So we're gonna write four. Step three, four, let's look at the seven that we underlined. This number is greater than five. We have to add one to nine. But what's nine plus one? That's 10. So that means we need to add a 10. So instead of four, this becomes 50. And everything to the right, no need to write it. My answer is 50. I hope that helps. Now it's your turn to practice. For more practice questions and Ontario Alliance solutions, head on over to my website or see the caption below. This specific unit can be found on my grade five number sense digital unit with my editable and ready to print worksheets and assessments all found on my website. Don't forget to hit subscribe for more tutorials.